Hey everyone, I'm Shay Hess, and this week we are learning all about parsnips. First, we stop by the Union Square Green Market to find out how to pick the perfect parsnip. Then we're going out to eat, literally. Jordan Cologne of Eat Restaurant in Greenpoint teaches us everything we need to know about how to prepare these lovely root vegetables. Then it's back to the kitchen for an easy pureed parsnip recipe perfect for your Thanksgiving table. Havenroth Gardens is a Green Market mainstay, and chefs from across the city flock to this stand every Wednesday and Saturday to get the freshest, most beautiful produce around. My farm is uh, about 50 miles from here. It's in Pine Island. It's 72 acres, and it's uh, black organic soil. It's called muckland, and uh, been farmed since the 1900s. I'm a fourth generation farmer. And so what is so special about that black soil? Well, it lends itself to root crops, especially like the parsnips, carrots, and that's what my specialty is, because uh, it holds the moisture really well, and you don't have to irrigate it once you get it established. Oh, wow. It has a lot of advantages. What is this here? That is a parsnip. It's in the carrot family. It's grown for a winter harvest, and you need a good frost to establish the sweetness of it. It used to be, before the potatoes became popular in the New World, uh, parsnips and turnips were the main item which people used. But it's one of the sweeter root crops that you can get. What should I look for when I'm picking out a good parsnip? Well, they suggest that you get a parsnip about this size, not too large. It's going to tend to be a little sweeter and more tender. And you should, you should take them home and uh, put them in the refrigerator and uh -huh. don't wash them until you're ready to use them. You'll notice that when you pick them up in the store, they're going to be yellow. Mm -hmm. That's because they've been out of the ground in the store for a while. Oh, um, so, so a white parsnip means that it's a fresher parsnip. Yeah, this was just pulled uh, yesterday and you can feel the freshness of it. It's, it's still damp, you know. The parsnips are similar to everything that I have here. They were all pulled yesterday and they're fresh. So you're going to get a, a fresh product that hasn't been shipped from California and spent three days in the truck to get here and went into a warehouse. So you're getting a fresh product. You know the farmer that you're buying it from, you know, if you have questions you can ask. Thanks for all the info, Alex. Now let's head back to Brooklyn to eat, where the term local restaurant means much more than simply a neighborhood spot. At Eat, here we, uh, we source every single ingredient from the Northeast a uh, small producer and farmer. Buying food locally cuts down the amount of distance that your food is being traveled and it's fresher, which is also healthier for you too. One thing we try to do here is keep the price really affordable. We want to show people that local food isn't something that you can have once a month. I think it's something that you can really live with and support. Parsnips are a root vegetable. As you can see, they look a lot like carrot. Mm -hmm. um, they taste similar. They're not as crunchy. So what are some ways that you can prepare these? You could roast them, cut them in the cubes, and just toss them with oil and put them in the oven. Then you can make a parsnip puree, which is a really popular thing we sell. Very versatile. And today we are going to simply roast them and then we're going to toss them with a pasta. So we're rinsing the parsnip and I have my vegetable scrubber and we're just scrubbing it clean. I think these parsnips are young enough where we probably don't need to skin them. And as you can see, they can be a little bit of a core, they're kind of woody in the middle. So the smaller the square, the faster it's going to roast. So then um, we'll take this, we'll add a little pinch of salt, parsley, and then a little bit of oil, toss it. Anywhere from 350 to 400 is good for about 20, 30 minutes. Easy, fast. Yeah, very fast. And you can just eat that as a side dish. Just Absolutely. These are a whole wheat and spelt flour and gnocchi, so the... They're beautiful. The important thing with the flour is you want to get fresh milk. This is from Cayuga Pure Organics. They mill it more or less to order for that wheat. If you eat fresh milled flour, it's way easier on your body. It actually tastes like grain. So this is um, Tuscan kale. It's a very hearty kale. Okay, so when the pasta floats, it's finished. And just for a second, we'll drop in the kale just to lightly cook it. Sunflower seed oil, apple cider vinegar, which can kind of bring out the flavor. A couple scoops of parsnip. So pretty quick meal, I'd say about 20 to 30 minutes, you know, even if you're making your own pasta. That looks beautiful. 
Jordan's roasted parsnip gnocchi is an awesome way to incorporate these root vegetables into a main course, but parsnips can also totally shine as a side dish. So we're gonna make pureed parsnips so tasty and decadent, they're the perfect twist on the typical Thanksgiving mashed potato. So I've got two pounds of parsnips here that I've already cleaned and peeled, and all I have to do is chop them up. So I'm just gonna add them to my pot, and then top them off with four cups of chicken stock. So now all I have to do is bring the stock to a boil, and then I'm gonna turn down the heat and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the parsnips are really tender. All right, so these are all ready to drain. I have my food processor with the blade attachment, and you can also use a blender if you don't have a food processor. Now it's time for a half cup of butter. Now I know it seems like a lot of butter, but this is two pounds of parsnips. And a pinch of salt. Time to puree. And the last ingredient, just to get it to the perfect consistency, just a tablespoon or two of heavy cream. Looks creamy and delicious. Time to give it a taste. Mm. Mmm, oh it's perfect. So the next time you're looking for a root vegetable that's both sweet and hearty, whip up some parsnips. They're special enough for your Thanksgiving table, but easy enough to enjoy anytime. For this recipe and more, visit HungryInBrooklyn.com.